Welcome to my easy to follow and vivo how to videos. The previous video that we did was how to use the word frequency uh, query. Um, now I'm back to show you how to actually look at the text uh, with a paragraph around them, what to do with the um, with the word cloud, how to export it if you want to. So I will start first of all by going back into the summary. So this is the list of keywords that came with the query which I did earlier on. If I were interested in exploring um, something like waters, I can double click on that word waters. And it should give me 95 <coughs> occurrences in all the sources. Now, by default, the software will give you five words on each side of the word water or waters, which is highlighted. So for me to get some context around it, I would do Control and A to highlight everything or just right mouse click here and go select all and then right mouse click again and this time we would like to go for coding contest and maybe broad so broad will allow us to have a broader contest a paragraph to be precise around all the finds so here the first one salt water the water is highlighted to draw your eye but you have a bit of text around it so that is how you would do it with wrapping a paragraph of, of text around the keywords. This can be very useful when you are searching for your literature. You can bring in about 300 PDFs of you know different um, literature that you have downloaded from the databases and that can be very useful to see. What happens here is that when you're looking it's not just one document but a number of document if I go into the summary you notice that that word it occurred 15 times in Barbara alone and eight in Charles in that order so if you were to look at your own literature in it you may find it very useful so back on to the reference this is what you get we have um, 15 plus 8 plus da, da 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 so we're talking about 100 different 96 to be precise we saw before so that can be very useful uh, if you were to look at it from a text it would then give you the 15 references that Barbara alone made and if you want to double click on Barbara then it will open the entire uh, transcript of Barbara and then it will draw your eye to the 15 places where the word water or waters were mentioned so that can be very useful um, in terms of looking at it the word cloud that we generated if we were to gather references to development i can see the word development here all we need to do is to right mouse click and then create um gather the the notes so I am going to create development as a code and so I'm happy to put it in the top level of the notes area and then go for OK so it should give me a chance to call it development search you know search for development in a particular source so you can do it that way and that would then put it if you look at where it's going the development search is going to be placed at the open um, open codes area so that is there if we were to leave this and go very quickly to the codes and we look at the notes we will have development search which is the one that we've done Maybe I need to squeeze my screen a little bit so we can see it properly. So that gave us 40 references from six documents. So if I were to click on it, it will still not have put it in the 
paragraph surround so I've highlighted everything and then I can go into coding contests and go for broad and that would then present the paragraph surround for all of these files in the data so that can be very useful I hope you find this useful if you feel like you wanted to take this output all you need to do is to actually export this collection of references to development so you can export it and it will go in as Microsoft Word text which the name will be a link to how the, the reference to the node and then you can open it when you get to Word so if I were to show you how it's going to appear it's not going to be different but it will be in new Word document I've got other things going on on my screen I'm so sorry so that is what you will get it's an example of what you will get right so let's get back to NVivo I am going to go back into the Word cloud and if we were to um, take this cloud we can right mouse click and export the cloud as a JPEG so you can see PNG and you can save it into your my document area so that is as simple you can do that you can also um, delete some of the keywords if you don't want to see the map uh, you don't want to see them in map so for instance if I want to get rid of the word look I can right mouse click and then I can my screen is going a bit low so I have to move my cursor up a bit so if, for instance if I want to get rid of the word just right mouse click and then I can add it to stop words so the word just would be stopped if I go for OK and then I need to refresh this so I will run the query again and that word just keep your eye there it should be there so that would be deleted it's not deleting it permanently from your document no it's just for the view that you're looking at so we can always go and get it back if we need to I hope this has been useful if you combine the video which I did previously to this and that that will give you the full understanding of how to use these if you need them so I hope this is useful thank you for watching